Magandang umaga sa ating lahat para sa kabataan at para sa bayan. Let us support the mandatory random drug testing. Welcome to Atulidabo University, a drug-free campus. Free specimen collection phase. Random lottery will be done by the selection board. The selection board is composed of the KAI director and also prefects of different units. The selection will be done at 8 a.m. Take note of the interval classes. Also, will determine the class schedule of the student. Also, will immediately notify the student through a posting within the prescribed class period. The student should receive and sign the call slip. Then, the student will have to report to the testing venue within the school with a copy of the call slip. The student should immediately report within the same period. Specimen Collection Phase First Station The student will present the OSA call slip to the social worker or nurse assigned in Station 1. An intake interview will be conducted. Lastly, each intake form has a control number for monitoring purposes. Second station, the student will be asked to empty pockets and remove outer garments, if any. Next, student will be given with specimen bottle with control number. A social worker or nurse will accompany the student during the urine collection to safeguard the integrity of the urine sample. The student will be asked to thoroughly wash and dry hands. Third station, the student submits the urine sample. The specimen collector will examine the sample in the presence of the student. The specimen collector will seal the specimen bottle in the presence of the student. Post-collection phase, if the result is negative, there is no problem. If positive, the student will proceed to the drug testing coordinator. Psychological first aid will be provided by centers identified by ICMC. Confirmatory tests will be done by DOH through SPMC and DMSA. Intervention phase. Only those classified as mild and moderate will be catered. Severe cases will be sent to rehabilitation centers as required. The entire ICMC will convene and conduct a case conference to come up with an intervention plan based on the needs of the student. In case of comorbidity, the student will be referred to LAMP or COPERS.